Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Hope you're all having a great day out there. Hooray! It was productive for us. We got two raised beds up, and uh, we got some fencing up that we're going to trellis and find things. We'll, we'll show you guys. We'll show you guys in a video. It'll be fun. It's really cute. Really. Absolutely. We have a lot of planting to go, and we want to thank all our patrons for their support. So we could keep doing these videos and moving forward in awakening the planet. Because, you know, I do think, again, we are waking up faster than the control system would like. Uh, but at the same time, we, we still got to kind of kick it up a notch. Indeed we do. And here they are kicking it up a notch. Man was arrested outside the White House, by the way, after he positioned his car in front of some protesters and began revving his engine. These are tense times, very, very tense times. And right now, as you can see, this was last night. They were getting all the fencing in place for the State of the Union address because, I mean, it doesn't say a lot that when you have a State of the Union address, you got to put up massive amounts of fencing, position the snipers properly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, happy times. People are a wee bit fed up. Yes, fed up is, is a good way to put it, absolutely. Any crunching in the background is just the uh, the IRS and CETA helping us with our taxes. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? <laughs> the White House just released excerpts uh, from President Biden's State of the Union address as he's uh, getting ready for delivery. It should be uh, shortly. And, you know, he's going to tout the economic progress. Mm. Oh, what world do they live in? They don't live in our world. No, they don't live in our world. Uh, yeah, freedom and democracy and uh, y yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all been uh, just a bunch of lies and illusion, but this kind of says it all. This man, he says if he could get over the border in time, he'll go vote for Joe. Well, you know what Joe's really busy doing right now, though? I mean, the only thing he's really in control of is the exact color of his diaper he'll be wearing what color is it tonight oh wait let me guess it depends it depends on his mood yes well today is thursday so i, I don't know what's what what color is thursday so this the young man is from honduras and he's crossing uh eagle pass in a biden harris 2020 shirt I got it on, so they'll let me in. Well, <laughs> it sounds like a plan that might really work. California moves to expand zero-down interest-free home loan program to just the illegal immigrants. Yes. Well, you know, it's it's getting there. It says it all. I mean, it's 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 beyond trying to make sense of it in a reasonable, logical way, besides the fact that they just want to speed the fall of the U.S. empire the way Rome did. Well, they're doing really good. They're, you know, moving by leaps and bounds in <laughs> everything that they're doing. They're, you know, checking it off the list, and people are, people are just getting poorer and poorer. And, you know, just to eat decent food is becoming uh, very difficult these days. But I will say that I am seeing more and not less organic options. When we do go into a regular store, uh, yeah, I am seeing locally more now than a year or two ago. So that's good. Even though we buy less from the local stores and, and more just from our local farmers, as well as trying to grow as much as we can our own, that's going to be the first thing. So this is down in uh, again that very very infamous now Darien Gap in Panama as you see HIAS workers seen teach innovators how to illegally enter the United States via their giant printed map yes we've seen those maps two women who work for HIAS uh, refugees it's a NGO of a certain variety that received over $87 million in your and my taxes just in 2023. So, you know, again, who is funding the illegal invasion? It's you and I, if we're paying taxes. Yeah, it's pretty bad. This is, you know, gosh, I mean, how can, there's so many... 
things that come to my mind how to describe it, but I, I just don't want to use swears. No, no swearing, please. No, but I, I, otherwise I'm just speechless. I mean, what else can you possibly say? Uh, except for where did over 500 kids go that haven't returned to school or been even accounted for since the fires in Hawaii? 500. Yeah, that's a lot of people that we don't know. Maybe they just said we got to get out of Hawaii and uh, we're not going to tell anybody where we're going. No forwarding address. Hopefully the parents know. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, there's there's so much more going on than meets the eye. And a lot of it really, really is getting uncovered. Um, I kept it at the blurry spot because I don't want to show um, bodies on the floor, let's just say. As people, again, Philadelphia is not a place to be at this point in time. I wouldn't recommend being in any major metropolitan area for the foreseeable future. If you're there, um, again, prayers and best wishes. But recognize that it's going to get more dangerous before it gets safer. And so here you have mass gunmen open fire at a bus stop. Wounded eight teenagers. Three people exited a car and fired over 30 rounds towards the students as they're trying to get on a bus. It's insanity. But this is, again, when, when you're talking about criminally insane running the show, what else can you expect? I, I don't know. You know, I mean, it's just everything is logical if you look at it from their perspective. Well, they believe in Darwinian evolution. I do think there's a creation that's happened on this planet. Absolutely. You know, and, and more than think. You know, we, we know there's there was a creation, actually more than one creation event that's happened on this planet. But we also know there is a process of evolution that happens, but it doesn't mean it's Darwinian. And Darwinian is, again, founded upon the, the theory, survival of the fittest. You better be the, the biggest beast in the jungle. And this is what the politicians truly believe in. Well, it's what they want and it's what they need, too. Absolutely. They are not understanding uh, that we need to work in a symbiotic way to have a symbiotic system that's going to promote the well-being of all. No, that would never cross her mind. By the way, Russia's in talks on establishing a wheat hub near the Suez Canal. This can be a giant global logistics center. Russia has also given um, many thousands of metric tons worth of grain to various uh, African nations. And China's given a lot of loans out. So, you know, again, the, the, the new uh, bosses in the neighborhood, so to speak. But that's really just appearances because, you know, the boss doesn't ever really, really change besides with the changing of the yugas. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And while we are talking about that, it's getting pretty dangerous to fly. And, you know, you have another mid air engine fire on a United Airlines flight. Uh, 747 engine caught fire. Um, and then you had another one where the wheel fell off and crushed some cars in the parking lot. I, I kid you not. This just happened. And it's so fascinating because, you know, we're on record as saying, what, about 18 months ago or so, maybe it's almost been two years, uh, that in the future, there will be absolutely zero airplanes in the air anywhere on Earth. No humans will travel by airplane. And they're getting ready to introduce that. It's coming sooner and later. <laughs> it looks like it for sure. Yeah, absolutely. U.S. fears Haiti could fall at any time as doubts grow over Biden's backup plan in Kenya. Uh, the only backup plan he is, has is for his backup depends. Yes. And we hope he has that plan. He might not. Yes, I know. He needs something for his download. In his diaper. Download in his diaper. Yes, download it in his diaper. Wow. Seems like we get a little more humor with these later in the afternoon <laughs> ones. I like that one. That's about the only thing you can download in the diaper. Anyway, the thing that's really curious about this. Now... Haiti uh, has uh, Haiti is not too safe. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So 
there's been a long planned multinational mission to reinforce Haiti's police who are vastly outgunned by gangs and literally losing fire f- fire f- fights because they're outgunned well who's coming to the who's who's wearing the white hats Kenya Kenya wait a minute Kenya Kenya's not like a major power this is this is where it's fascinating to watch how the system does things they picked Kenya to lead the mission even though they don't speak the same language and you know French in, in Haiti uh, Kenya well I don't know you know it, it the languages don't even match and they even talk about that saying well there might be a problem in communication why in the world are you sending people from Kenya they're going to operate with French and Creole language Haitian force well, maybe you should send people from Louisiana because mm-hmm. there are a lot of French and Creole uh, people in Louisiana uh, no, and, and it's part of their their migration plans that they have. And, you know, again, where did this group of people originate? Where did that group of people originate? When you look literally at, you know, the ancestry that you get off of your um, 23andMe and, you know, Ancestry.com and stuff, and, and, and the answers don't match up with what you've been told by your parents, grandparents, other family members, it's because they jumble us up all the time. And it's not just natural migrations. No, it's not just natural. They do this type of thing all the time. This this round robin, which is one of their code names that we've gotten, <laughs> is, is, is a plan that they always have in place. So there's a lot of rumors about uh, the Walton family and Bezos and some others uh, selling out of certain major stocks. Uh, A crash will be coming, and the U.S. will be going the way, more than likely, of Argentina and uh, Venezuela and other countries that have seen just insane uh, hyperinflation and hyperdevaluation of the money. But I think that's going to be coincide really with the first big blows of WW3 where the U.S. is, um, you know, actually in the bullseye. So, you know, we are watching this and there's lots of rumors. But at the same time, you know, the Walton family uh, is worth collectively $224 billion, they said. Uh, so, you know, they, they have been moving some stock, but then I found... Other times in years past that they move stock too. Uh, again, these people, the, this type of money, they have insider information and, and they can initiate great moves just by, you know, one little small click of the mouse. And they can and they will and it looks like they are. Yeah, you yeah, know, novel idea. What if we took the 10 most richest people in the world and took all their wealth from them? Wow, wouldn't that be something? Just collectively and, and put it in a fund to help people that have been hurt as they've made their wealth uh, stepping on the little people. That that would really be nice, wouldn't it? Of course, I don't think Elon and Jeff and the Waltons would really like that. Or Gil Bates for that matter. Uh, Gil Bates, oh, there's so many people we could think of that all their you know wealth in reality... Whew, if karma was was really immediate, yeah, we'd, we'd watch it real quick. Big changes coming, but not fast enough. Largest shareholders for Excel Energy are the same hedge funds banks that also have ownership in many of the railroads and chemical giants responsible for environmental warfare in the United States over the last three years. Worth noting that Excel Energy admitted today that its equipment was likely involved in the start of what is now the largest wildfire in Texas history. Oh, BlackRock, Vanguard, J.P. Morgan. Ah, yeah, you can see it's it's the same old, same olds. The same old, same olds with individuals hiding behind corporations. Make corporations illegal. Make them illegal because people can hide all day long behind one. Go ahead, dissolve it, start up another one. And not miss a beat. Mm-hmm. I, I totally agree. It's just a travesty. Meanwhile, Biden's NTSB chair has just admitted to in a Senate hearing today 
the controlled explosion of the train in East Palestine, Ohio, that it was unnecessary. They didn't have to explode it. It could have been averted. The chemical tank cars had already cooled and stabilized. There was no risk of an uncontrolled explosion. The explosion severely contaminated the waterways and showered the town with toxic materials. Actually, it went way all over, hundreds of miles, uh, much of which is and could potentially lead to widespread and long-term health issues for residents. It absolutely will. Did they lie or are they totally incompetent? Somebody must be held accountable. But will they? The reality is, again, this wasn't a fupa. This is what they do. The, the, what was done was what was intended. That's the reality we have to understand. Meanwhile, you have massive uh, flooding going on northwestern Brazil. Over 12,000 people displaced. Oh, looky right here. Climate change. Uh, yeah, your little wiki. Long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns mainly caused by human activities uh, such as directed energy weapons, HARP, uh, and you know people like Elon and Gil Bates. Well, that's what it should say. Mm -hmm. I think so, too. And yes, Elon, because where do you think all those satellites are doing up there? It's not just all Starlink for your... For your 5G capability, which is also literally frying your cells. It is, yep. Meanwhile, two dead whales spotted in Virginia Beach in one day. And when Cindy looked into this, I'll have her share what she yeah. saw. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw a wall of water. It's hard for me to explain because I don't understand the technology. That this was some type of technology that was, uh, maybe it was sound or something. I don't know, but these whales hit it and it it really hurt them but then it dissipates in the water so it doesn't do continual damage so my guess is it was some type of uh, sound weaponry that they were using and this is the result of it yeah they do test these things out um, just to see how they're going to work and you know again this is part of the waking up in a kali yuga uh, at the end of a kali yuga or if you believe that were a few uh, a few notches up into a Bronze Age, this this is what we have. We, we have insanity and control, and we have darkness and control. But it's not going to be able to maintain control, and it is going to be dissolved. I know. It, it's enough to make you just say, I want to get out of here. I just want to get out of here. They're crazy in here. That poor guy looks a little panicked there. It's understandable. I mean, I, a lot of people on this planet are like this right now. They are, they are, but try to stay calm, stay calm. Okay, and we want. I want to ask Cindy to please share with you guys one other thing that was coming through. Um, if you are able, especially if you're able to get out in the sun uh, and soak in consciously the sun's rays and see and visualize them activating your DNA, helping to restore that which has been disconnected, that which has been broken down, and turned off by the system uh, many people are going to and are getting upgrades right now that are going to help them and the wording that they used was uh, after the eclipse mm -hmm. um, so there's going to be abilities getting turned on after the coming eclipse to help us through the next stage uh, the next stage i do think is going to it's going to be uncomfortable uh, for many people because let's just face it we're a soft society for the most part uh, sure there are some outdoorsmen that can survive 40 days or more with nothing and they'll they'll get water somehow they'll clean it somehow they'll be able to feed themselves and I should say outdoors ladies too or outdoors indifferent gendered I don't know what to say who knows what you're supposed to say in this world anymore. But again, abilities are going to be coming online that you're going to need for the next stage. So even though the dark side is doing everything that they're doing, there is still a creator. There still is a source of everything of which we're all a part. We're all an individual cell. And there is a creator of this universe. And they're trying to more than level the playing field. So for the past, I would say at least a month, 
maybe a month and a half. Could push it out to two months. People have been going through quite a lot when it comes to different types of purging. We've seen some pretty huge sun sneezes. And this is all information that's entering into your body. And when I when I asked why, the question was posed, you know, what's going on? Why the information came in? This is to be used after the eclipse. So I really need to encourage you guys, uh, be ready, be centered, drink plenty of water during that eclipse. Sometimes people might feel it and some people not, you, you, but you'll feel the changes go through your body. Um, but that's the information that came in. And with these changes are going to come a lot of accessible gifts from your ancestors. So you want to be tapping into that energy too, your ancestral energy. And there's some ancestors out there that they will not step forward unless you ask them. And then there's some ancestors that will barge their way in and just say, hey, I want to do this. And you might have to make boundaries. So that's just something that's uh, that's going to be happening. And I want to talk about that a little bit now. And we'll just sort of continue to touch on it because we still have a few days to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Again, we have, uh, you know, 32 days, I guess. Um, the other thing I just want to touch on, everybody has their own expertises. And so we need to pull together and learn from each other. Uh, I was going through... Uh, last night and this morning, looking at some of the headlines on different prepping channels because you know they're all like on this, and they have for the most part information that's that's good and usable. Yet at the same time, you know, in one of these prepping channels, you could see the person's own personal stash of what they have stocked away on their shelves, and it's you know GMO foods and simple sugars, and they're talking about you know uh, making sure that you have food to survive what's coming and at the same time gmo foods and simple sugars are going to weaken your immune system and our immune systems got to be top notch they got to be top notch and you, you know again look to the nutritional value make sure you're not taking in things that are full of nanu nanu and things that are going to cause inflammatory response to your body learn about detoxing uh, learn about boosting the immune system, learning about, learn about mind, body, breath practices. We really have to be well-rounded. I mean, simple things, non-GMO, you can order like quinoa, you can order rice, you can order a lot of healthier things. I like to get it in a bucket because it's pre-packaged. If you don't have a lot of room or if you don't want to transfer, transfer a bag to anything, maybe it's a little more for the bucket but then you get the bucket too and i think it's very effective for holding food and keeping it away from mice absolutely so as always guys thanks for your support stay prepared source bless and namaste namaste